1964, Granada Television brought together a group of seven-year-olds. We have followed their lives every seven years, their dreams, ambitions, and fears for the future. Seven years older, seven years fatter, a bit less hair. You look at me at seven, and you look at me even now at 63. It's flown by, Michael. It's a lifelong achievement to be part of this program. Once you get to your 60s, it all gets a bit, oh, how long have we got now? <laughs> I certainly don't look forward to it every seven years. I suppose as you get a bit older, you've got less to lose. All these things that I've said over the years, yes, it has been worth it. And you better cut it, because otherwise I'm going to cry. A moment of pure joy in my life was when my son was handed to me when he was born. There's just no place for regrets in this world. Maybe one regret is probably would have liked more children. There are various things that I can do they can't do. They can't change the light bulb. <coughs> but I can't get on Netflix. When we started at seven, most women were in the kitchen. Did you meet enough men before you decided who to marry? I thought that was actually an insulting question. You didn't have any idea of the changing role of women. And I only want you to go, Rah! Children inherit something from their parents. Nobody wants to confess that they suffer mental ill health. I'm sitting here talking to you now. I'm squirming. <laughs> I want my life to have meant something. The sooner you understand who you are, the sooner you understand what you can do. <laughs> it's taken me virtually 60 years to understand who I am. I'm still the same little kid, really. Probably all of us are. Still plenty to do, it's not all over yet.